Okay. That intro was fine. More or less. Now if you actually start a new game, we can begin. Thank you. As you can see, it's different from the original. There are no more tutorial levels. And now there are, let's see... Up, up, up. One, two... Four tiers in the final mission. Oh, goody. Yep. This mission... This mission, etc., they're mandatory. You have to do those missions. And everything between those mandatory missions is what I call a tier. Now then, let's begin with the first mission. Uh, yeah, let's just begin. Hello, Rock Raider Cadet, and welcome by the Rock Raider Academy. Omdat dit je eerste dag is, beginnen we eenvoudig. Vandaag maak je kennis met de commando interface en de bediening ervan. Je zult leren hoe je de Rock Raiders opdracht kunt geven om zich in de grot onder de oppervlakte van de planeet te verplaatsen. Veel succes, Rock Raider. Wij verwachten veel van je. Oké, okay, voor reference, de voiceover is from the original game. The mission brief is what we actually have to do. And believe you me, it is very different. In the original game, this was the first tutorial mission, and you really didn't have to do anything, to be honest. You can see, these are Rock Raiders, they are the greatest douches this world has ever seen. But, you'll see that in... Eventually. Now. This has to go down... Tremendously, because if... Things tend to go wrong. Let's try this a bit. I do believe that's better. Now, anyone who's played this, who played this game should know this option: automatic game speed. Let's see. No. Objective: find a tool store. I already know what I'm doing because I've done this mission like four times already testing settings and all that good stuff so okay those are spiders Come on. they can walk over water like that those guys can walk over walls which I don't think is the intention, really. And they keep falling on their ass and are rather useless. If the uh, sounds are a little... Here it is. If I'm right on top of it, you can hear it clearly. If I'm not on top of it, you can't hear it, so... There's little I can do about that. First things first, we have to drill this entire area. As you know, we do need stuff and the like. This is a rather slow mission, unfortunately. Drill out. Yeah, I'll explain everything in a minute. For now, we just have to drill all this because I don't remember for sure. I'm not sure, but I think this place can cave in. Which is a very bad thing. To so, put down quickly. Uh, yes. Well, minions keep digging. Yeah, that's what I call them. Minions. Uh, did you just... Okay, am I missing something, or did he just appear out of nowhere? 
Never mind, never mind. You have played this game too much. Way too many test runs. Come on, keep digging. We need all that stuff. Let's see. That, that, that. Those are the priorities. Basically, if these guys have more than one thing to do, this will tell them what they should do first. You will see me change that a lot. A hell of a lot. Speaking of which... Yeah, I did max out game speed. Because this game at anything less than maximum speed is a drag. Clear all that rubble. Yeah, as you can clearly see here, you can find ore in rubble, which is used to build buildings and upgrade them and all that good stuff. And as you can also see, they run very slowly over it, as opposed to the ground. Come on, give me an example. Like that guy. Speaking of which, it's time to start building, I think. However, before we start building, this is a list of buildings, by the way. We'll get to those later. We need to do two things. First, this building needs to be upgraded. Cross 5 ore. La la la, you cannot construct that. Um, no, I cannot, because. See, I can't build it anywhere. And if they would stop clearing rubble for one second, thus finding ore, must be placed next to a power path. And that's this. It's, well, a path that distributes power, so it's a power path. Yeah, we're getting academic here. Anyways. Teleport pad. I... I don't really know why that's the first...